obscure village, he was the child of a peasant woman. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30 years old. And then for three years, he traveled around the country, stopping long enough to talk and to listen to people and to help where he could. He never wrote a book. He never had a hit record. He never went to college and never ran for public office. He never had a family or owned a house. He never did any of the things that usually accompanied greatness. He had no credentials but himself. But when he was only 33 years old, the tide of public opinion turned against him, and his friends all rejected him. When he was arrested, very few wanted anything to do with him. After his trial, he was executed by the state along with admitted thieves. And only because a generous friend offered his own cemetery plot was there any place to bury him. This all happened 19 centuries ago. And yet today he is the leading figure of the human race and the ultimate example of love. Now it is no exaggeration to say that all the armies that have ever marched, all the navies that have ever set sail, all the rulers that have ever ruled, all the kings that have ever reigned on this earth, all put together have not affected the life of man on earth like this one solitary life.